Hello, I'm Pixel. I'm actually Danny Dehex's dog. Now he's gone out for a walk and he's left me at home. So I thought I'd jump into the studio and do a recording of my own. Interestingly enough, I've been checking his emails and I found this really interesting email from a guy called Vinny. Now Vinny is a mate of mine who's based in Wellington and I'm in Christchurch, New Zealand. And he has done a hypertech group historical timeline. Now, Vinny has also got a YouTube channel and he's just about at 1,000 subscribers and we need your help. So you need to go and search YouTube for a YouTube channel called Project Frugal and you'll see that he has done a mammoth effort at exposing Hypercapital, Hyperfund and Hyperverse and now, I think Dad said it was called Hypernation where everyone's meant to be buying NFTs so that they can have a passport and they can go along to this new world, which ironically is pictured behind me, as you can see. However, I must do a disclaimer because this video is not actually legally allowed to be used by Hyperverse, even though they used it in their Hyperverse launch presentation to give people sort of an indication of what the Hyperverse is going to look like. Um, Dan Studios uh, contacted me. They wanted to find Hyperverse so they could take legal action about the copyright use of this video. Does that sound ethical? I hope not. So I better switch into the Hibernation actual new re mock up. I do say I did like the other one better though, but hey, that's what happens. So it could be a bit of a crime scene. I'm not entirely sure. And they may ask you to go on a spaceship. That dog's head's in the way, which isn't very good all these sorts of things. So let's go back to hypernation. Now let's get started here. This is quite a hard document for me to read, especially being a dog, and I'll pour my way through it. Ha ha ha, that was quite funny, wasn't it? All right, so Hypertech Group, historical timeline document provided by Vinny from Project Frugal. Thanks, Vinny. Thumbs up on the video. Help get this video out. Yes, you heard me. Hit the thumbs up. I'm not doing another paw print until you do the thumbs up. The thumbs up is that little wee arrow on the left. Click it. Have you clicked it? Thank you. Reason why us YouTubers go, please click that thumbs up is because it tells YouTube you like my video. Now, I know I'm only a dog. I could actually literally be a wolf, you know, but no one knows what the fox says about Hyperverse. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, I'm funny today. Good. Anyway, I could have come to you as a panda, but then well, you would have had flashbacks and I would have looked like Pinnicky Nark, who's got panda eyes. Or I could talk about me being it. This is actually a beer, would you believe? This is a beer. And it's not a beer's market at the moment, is it? Uh, no, it's not on the crypto. So moving right along, let's get into it. And um, I don't want to be cowardly and tell you that this is a good uh, Ponzi scheme about doing my due diligence. So let's continue. Now let's go back to the start of this um, debacle. April 2014. Bitcoin Group was formed. It was based in Melbourne. Yes, a sister country to New Zealand where I'm from. And we're very good in our dairy over here, I must say. Even though I don't want you guys to eat me, I'm a vegan cow. All right, so in Melbourne uh, is where it was based. It was formed by Sam Lee and Alan. I can't read his last name, so you just have to believe me. He has a last name. And we've got Ryan Zhu as well. So they have formed a company called Big Bitcoin group. Oh my words are not getting out of this moving along voice. Okay, so then we've got January 2015. And that's when things were getting interesting because Colin Star Capital was launched by Ryan Zhu. Now, Ryan Zhu is now portrayed as a billionaire who's some crypto crypto goddess. Um, but let's see if this is the case. I'm trying to wink. Wink. There we are, winking cow. Ooh. Anyway, right, March 2015, Colin Star Capital become the shareholder of Blockchain Global, which is eventually rebranded Bitcoin Group before it completely got renamed. So how about that? So that's what's happened. We're up to March 2015, which is very exciting. And I might bring my cat friend along because it's her time to speak. Wow. <laughs> all right. I didn't have a lion. I wanted to be a lion, but I got a kitty cat instead. So here we go. So we've got uh, November 2015. Bitcoin Group IPO closes. 
Oh, they were trying to raise 2.9 million. Um, oh, sorry. I, oh, I see. They're going for a cash round. They're trying to get investors, and they closed out at two million nine hundred dollars, and that's what they raised. But they actually wanted 20 million for the initial IPO, so they fell well short. Now. If you are not really a YouTuber and you don't know how this works, you'll see the title of this video and next to it, there's a more button. If you go into the more button, I'm going to place all the links to all the information that I'm providing from Project Frugal. Thanks, Vinny. Thanks, Vinny. Good on you, mate, doing your job to save these people from losing their crypto with these Ponzi schemes that are happening rampant at the moment. Right, so um, we're up to November the 15th, then we're up to August 2016. Bitcoin Group rebrands to Blockchain Global. Boom! Everyone knew about Block Blockchain Global, didn't they? I'm going to go back to my dog. He reads a bit better. Hi, my name's Pixel. Thank you for that Maui cat. Meow. Woo. Here, puss, 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 puss. Woody, 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 woody. Here, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, sorry. Got distracted. <laughs> all right. All right. So here we go. Right. So now we've got a rebranded um, Bitcoin Group, rebranded Blockchain Global. In February 2017, BGL Blockchain Global enters into a binding agreement with Digital X to onboard all customers from its liquidity. I can't say that word. Can't say that word. Why do you put big words in documents like that? Liquidity desk. Digital X direct uh, into its own Bitcoin exchange platform. And I think it's called ACX.io. And we've got evidence there in the links. If you go into the channel, hope you've hit that thumbs up button. Please hit that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button. Go on. I'll use my paw, but it's not very easy on a computer. All right. So now we're up to June 2017. Um, BGL, which I think stands for Blockchain Global, for those dyslexic people, buys 40% stake in Digital X. Now, my research has shown, because I'm a dog, dad's out for a walk, but I've been listening to him. That Digital X is probably the company behind all these Ponzi schemes. Isn't that incredible? So that's how that originated. Now, don't forget, go to Project Frugal, check out his 10, yes, 10 videos he's done showing all this step by step, and he's got all the paperwork to prove it. This is your due diligence. Don't do due diligence on YouTube, my ass. Oh, wagging my tail. Oh, okay, so anyway, August 2017, HCash launches. Exciting times. Then we're down to January. 2018, Blockchain Global tries to merge with US company BCTS, but the merger fails. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh. um, and do remember, do remember, um, I'm a dog and I have dyslexia. It's very sad, you know, but at least I don't have panda eyes like Wanaki Nak. Ah, oh, that's not very nice. Okay, we shouldn't pick on people's looks. All right, um, MOF, Molecular future token launches on coinmarketcap.coin.com not coin tuh, tuh, tuh. anyway hey um, let me take you for a um, uh, a little bit of scenery because this crypto market at the moment is pretty as Keith Williams would say they're in stormy seas and it's not a very nice moment out there so you weather up uh, go get yourself a cup of coffee. We've got lots of historical stuff to tell you about the origins um, and the black, dark plague that's about to take us if we don't start fighting back with these scandemics. Because it really is modern-day crime, this stuff, isn't it? I know we're not getting telephone... Well, we are getting telephone calls from people that we haven't seen for a long time asking us how we are doing and are we healthy and safe after COVID. And then they've got an opportunity of a lifetime for us to invest in. It makes me not wag my tail completely opposite to be honest it just pisses me off to be honest i don't like pissing on trees all right so anyway we're up to january 2018 medical structure that was great january 2018 ryan x um um oh i can't even say this word medically um, chain token launches on dragonx dragx okay so he launched launched another token that's something he's really good at doing and it was 0.15 USDT and it got dumped um, down to 0 0.01 USDT within 10 days. Wow, that's this, you know, that's incredible. Now there's millions of yuan, which I think is the Chinese currency, which I can't pronounce, but you know, the Chinese currency is called Y 
U-A-N, yeah, it's missing um, for Chinese investors and they are pissed off. So we reckon that they've actually caught up with him and he's uh, when he went back to China last time, um, he's probably locked up um, and I'd love to do a locked up noise, which I think I do have a locked up noise I can give you actually. Here we go. Yep, oh, a bit louder. That's the jail. That's where uh, we reckon uh, Ryan Ju is at the moment. All right, so now we're on to 2018. Hyper Capital is started. Now, Hyper Capital is kind of when the big Ponzi scheme sort of started up. Now, you probably might not have heard about that, but that's the, the, the first Ponzi scheme where you could buy um you know a membership plan so that started in may 2018 and then doop, 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 down to july 2019 then sam lee resigns from digital x board so he was a part i don't know what happened there um but sam lee actually got in trouble this is in july 2019 now remember if you don't believe all this stuff go to the the comments click on the videos check out uh, project frugal's videos and you can see all this stuff is backed up by um, documents and videos online there's a whole debacle all about it anyway sam lee gets in trouble because he sold 640 600 uh oh hell here we go 640k of shares in genetic technologies uh while in blackout leaves as a director less than a month after the disclosure i'm not quite sure what that means but project frugal vinnie he he certainly does and he'll tell you all about it i didn't really explain that very well but i think what that means is sam lee isn't really clean and squeaky he's a, a bit of a scammer and he's got a history of ripping off people and doing shady deals i mean i'm just um, you know, that's a dog's opinion, but hey, it's a dog eat dog world in this world of crypto, isn't it? Hey, all right. So in February 2020, we've got AX, sorry, ACX, ACX.io collapses. So, oh, so that just opened a few months ago. Isn't it funny that everything to do with Sam Lee, Ryan Ju, sort of is like pump and dumping, isn't it? And it sort of started a little off, do a big flash opening, get it all going, make us all go, woof, 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 look at that. Ooh, flashy lights, and then they all fall over. There's a pattern here. All right, so we've got March 2020. We've got Hyper Dao. Now I think it's Hyper D A O launches. Boom! They've even got a, a Twitter page telling everyone about it. Ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? Ah, oh, I can't wait to get to this new ecosystem. It's going to be awesome. It looks pretty awesome though, doesn't it? And look at this. I think they've even got those little cable car things that looks like he's trying to run me down. Get out of it. He's going to run me over. Come there he is. Look at that. And um, I've been in one of those and. Um, what do they call that place? Uh, Japan. And it goes 300 miles an hour. Kilometers an hour. Pretty awesome anyway. Anyway, let's not get distracted. Hope you've got your NFT so you can go to the Hyper Nation and you're on the first vessel. I think that was one just shooting by. I've already been there and had a look and it's bloody boring. There's no trees to piss on. There's nothing. Nothing. There's nothing to do for a dog. There's no pets allowed to go into the Hyper Nation. And I think it's discrimination. And I think it's really, really bad. In fact, I was out protesting with my mates the other day saying, we want animals in hypernation. We want animals in hypernation. And um, what's going to happen with the blockchain, I say? You know, the blockchain. I mean, what is this blockchain? Is it something like a, I like bones, but is it something you can get your teeth into? You know what I'm saying? It's really cool. I mean, I don't want to be placed with an AI. Imagine that. Imagine me, like Pixel here, not even like proper AI. Oh, 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 there'd be like monkeys running around in, in hyperspace. Who cares? Monkeys are cool. You know, use your brain, is what my mum always said. If something sounds too good to be true, it often is. It, it was just the other day I was watching um, my dad telling his wife that he's invested all their life savings into a Ponzi scheme. And his wife was so pissed off. She's just like, oh, I'm not, I'm, you didn't, did you? And they're like, like getting a divorce the other day. Hey, I hope you've hit the thumbs up button. This video was quite quite tricky to put together. So if you hit the thumbs up, it tells YouTube you like my dad's video and it will get it, but he doesn't know I'm doing this, of course. And I don't want some sort of clinical um, lifestyle if I lived in the in the hyperverse. Anyway, anyway, let's get back. So Hyperdeo is launched in March 2020. And then June 2020, Hyperfun launches. And it looks like a rinse and repeat. 
which they do a lot of, and it replaces, so Hyper Fun launches and it replaces Hyper Capital, exciting times. And then <laughs> why do they do it? Because Hyper Fun UK, um, one of the, um, the FCA, financial, oh, I can't pronounce, I don't know what that is. It's something to do with the big people who, that the governments employ to do uh, analysis to see whether a company is legit or not. But anyway, they put out a warning and it says that um, hyper fund warning. So then we've got, um, they, yes, yeah, so they put out this warning and then Ryan Zhu named as chief strategy officer for clone chain new con Tent Limited, content, all the notes are in there. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, so April 21, I got it now. I got it. I just got to keep my head around this stuff. It's so hard. They use all this big uh, the wording that a dog cannot understand. But, anyways, so Ryan Drew is named Chief Strategy Officer for a company called Co Chain New Content Limited. And he's been paid, get this, this guy's meant to be a billionaire. He's decided to work for this company for 120k per annum. Small. Small change for a, a billionaire. Maybe he was doing his part in charity, but why would this guy who's worth billions, theoretically one tells you he's worth billions, work for a company, um, you know, that's only paying 120,000? Bet that won't last long. Anyway, September, uh, where are we? September 2021, Hyperfund gets a New Zealand warning. Yeah, there we go. New Zealand's even in it now. It's all made it to the bottom of the earth. Well, I'm at the top, I feel, but to the bottom of the earth. And there's links there. You can see that there's warnings about getting involved in hyper fun. And then there's another crowd out there, which I can't pronounce. It's, um, I'm going to spell it for you because you guys are really good. But it's G U E R N S E Y warning. So there's another warning. I've got the links in the comment section. And also go to Project Frugal, check out his YouTube channel. Make sure you get him over a thousand for God's sake. He's been going on about it for a while. He wants a thousand subscribers so he can monetize his channel. We need your help. It's just a click of a button. Help us guys get some return for all these videos that we do. Oh, there it is. October 2021. Ryan X resigns from CCNC after six months. So there he is. He must have been a billionaire and realized he's only getting paid $120,000 a year, and then he lasted six months, and he's out. Well, how about that? He must have realized he wasn't getting paid enough, and he needed to get his billions from somewhere else. Wonder if he's decided to scam people with a Ponzi scheme. Hey, hey, think about it, think about it. Tyson. Okay, November 2021. Blockchain Global collapses. Oh, no, owing, oh, no, oh, 21 million Australian. So that's, um, and it ramped up to 50 million. So Blockchain Global, I think they had three attempts to get onto the Australian share market and they kept flagging it as not do more, you know, more, more, more paperwork. So basically that went live on the share market. They managed to raise $50 million and uh, it's collapsed and it owes all these Australians money. That's disgusting. Disgusting. They're going to go to jail. I tell you what, and it's not, not even funny. Still laughing. In fact, um, a wee bit scary. That dad's got this thing on his desk. An elephant. Uh, does anyone in here like elephants? Uh, Moo Moo, do you like elephants? Nah. What about, uh, oh, what's the fox say? Woo, 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 woo. I think I look better in red, red foxes. Um, anyway, ah, there you are. Oh, wow. I, I've seen quite a few elephants before. Well, that's good. Anyway, back to uh, Pixel. Pixel, stop playing around on the audio gear. All right. Well, there's the money. Back to the money. Right, Hyper, all right so it's December 2021, Hyperverse launched, replaces Hyperfun. Hold it, let's get this right. So it used to be Colin Hyper Capital, and then it got rebranded to Hyperfund, and now it's called Hyperverse. Okay, and why did they do that? Ah, oh, get this, mate, get this. Too many fraud warnings. So they changed the name. Great idea. The genius thought that up. And now they're, they're going to rival, Hyperverse is going to rival its competitor, Metaverse. And I think that's from that Zuckerberg guy, uh, Facebook. He's called himself Meta. So they're trying to rival him. Well, that's going to go well, isn't it? Facebook's pretty secure. The good thing about Facebook, they actually have got a product or service. Not like these guys, they've just got memberships. That's what Ponzi schemes are all about. Anyway, so then we've got January 2000. Oh, no, got to get this right. January 2022, Hyperverse token launches were saved. <laughs> February 2000, 
and 22. More and more customers not getting paid their rewards. Oh, really? That's disgusting, isn't it? Oh dear, so that means that we're probably theoretically a bit of a crime scene. Uh, starting to think it's a bit fishy. Sick of watching, um, what do they call those Zoom meetings of everyone who's got these same horrible backgrounds on the back and they've got these bridges and grass and I mean, nah, I'd rather be stuck in a fish tank than get involved in um, Hyperverse, uh, if you know what I mean. And I definitely don't really think it's a good idea to um, be in a spaceship and um, get your ticket um, on the v vessel, get your NFT, because that's what they want you to do now. I'll be protesting about that, I tell you. All right, sorry, let's get back to where we are. We're going to that. Right, so February 2000, more and more customers not getting paid their rewards. Hypernation launches. Hypernation launches. Did you realize they had a Hypernation launch just the other day? Well, that's not their first launch. No, they've already had a launch a couple of months ago, but it didn't work, did it? So they're going to run alongside Hyperverse and Hypernation because no one liked the launch about Hypernation. They didn't like that Mr. H guy. They don't like this AI stuff, you see. AIs scare the bejeez is out of people because theoretically all these AI guys are just on the blockchain and they're not real and um, who wants to be an AI when you think about it eh? you want real people don't you? you don't want some silly dog or well, maybe you do want some silly dog I don't know let's just get on with it Danny Oop, sorry pixel okay so that launched and it, so you're going to have two Ponzi schemes running parallel parallel but what they've done with Hyperverse they've taken all the VIP people out of it which are the the main scammers so they're like the sales team they're taking the sales team out of it who have actually made a lot of money from this ponzi scheme but the the people that have done hibernation looks like a different entity altogether doesn't look like the same group because they haven't mentioned anything about um sam lee they haven't mentioned anything about ryan jew there's no sign of um brenda chunda there's no uh kalpish patel and there's no keith williams in there and there's no that roman guy um so all those it looks like it's a completely different entity so it looks like they don't want to take the debt from hyperverse and move it over to hyper uh, nation and of course they can't because it's mathematically impossible uh for them to pay the people back after all the vips have taken off all the money so Hibernation must have looked at these VIPs that they've been paying out, thinking, how can we get money out of them? And then somebody had a brain fart. <laughs> Sorry. And they said, I know, we'll make them that they have to buy a passport to get into um, Hibernation. Oh, how much should we charge them? Ooh, let's go for two rounds. Let's go $10,000. Well, you know, uh, USDT or 100000 See who buys it. So they've sold, would you believe, rumoured, 1000 um purple nft boxes that you're not allowed to sell get that you're not allowed to sell them because as soon as you sell them um you lose your passport to hibernation so you're trapped in owning a ten thousand dollar nft that no one else is allowed to buy get that they've just ripped off the people in hyperverse kind of funny really not the poor people because they've actually been stealing from the poor and giving to the rich the rich are now richer so hibernation has now sold worthless nfts to the rich who are thinking that they can rinse and repeat and start scamming people again isn't that just shocking anyway back to the notes so may 2000 hibernation launches and they're, they're theoretically going to run alongside um hyperverse and hibernation running at the same time but eventually obviously it's going to be replaced but the big news was kalpish patel he was the main um, promoter. He leaves Hyperverse, blaming the corporate, and walks away with a million. Now, rumoured, rumoured that he was taking out a million dollars a day. A million dollars a day. 30 million a month. And um, I've got a video of him that I'm about to do, or well, my dad is. Uh, and it shows, um, it shows him, um, in, it's showing other people how to create a account structure of 21 accounts so they've been creating multiple accounts and so is keith williams and they've been having leadership meetings in dubai because that's where kalpish is at the moment uh teaching people how to create multiple accounts so basically they're scamming the people in the community and the community have been saying look we we uh really like these guys and we trust them but they have don't realize they have actually been scammed by the scammers and they are in these leadership meetings. So that's why you don't see these guys. I think Keith Williams is backing out of it now. And I think he's thrown, um, well, what's Pandora's name? Um, Wanaki. Wanaki 
Narc. He looks a lot like that. He's got panda eyes. You can't see his eyes. Never trust anyone. You can't see his eyes. That's what my mum used to say. And also, talking about mum, these Ponzi schemes might look good to you, but my mum used to say, um, uh, she's a bit of a bunny. My mum used to say that if it sounds too good to be true, then it often is. And that's what you should be thinking. Oh, what's that rabbit doing there? I haven't seen one of those before. All right, so anyway, so Kalpish is off. He's now promoting wewe.global, would you believe? And there's also another crowd out there that were really strong believers um, with Hyperverse, and they're telling you to diversify at the moment, and they want you to get involved in Novatech, because Novatech's where all the Ponzi schemes happening at the moment. So let's summarize what I've taught you here. Remember, go to the show notes, which hit more at the end of the title of this video, and you can see all the links linking off to all the proof. And then also, I want you to subscribe to um, Vinny's Project Frugal YouTube account, get him over a thousand, and watch his 10 videos if you don't believe this information is true. Do your due diligence. Don't do your due diligence with Hyperverse or Hibernation. They will give you their own white paper, which is more of a promotion, and they give you a whole lot of false claims. And these are all backed up by hours and hours of research. And thanks, Vinny, for giving me this information. It's brilliant, 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 I say. All right, summary. So, okay, so, uh, the, uh, right, they are on to their fourth scheme in four years. So each of these Ponzi schemes haven't lasted for la more than 12 months, and they get shorter and shorter each time. So Hyper Capital, Hyper Fund, and Hyperverse, and now Hyper Nation, essentially are all offering the same products dressed up in different ways now there's no product the only thing they can sell you is a membership and then they tell you to sell those memberships to two other people they use those two other people's money to pay you to keep you happy and that's how it works and mathematically there's not enough stupid people or is there in the world to actually keep these ponzi schemes running eventually everyone gets aware of it but in the meantime the people at the top get richer right what about sam lee and ryan Drew? They haven't been seen, get this, since December 2021. They are long gone. It's not rocket science. The last video, I've got a video where Ryan Drew actually paid Donald Trump $50,000 so he could get his photo taken with him. And if you look through my dad's YouTube channel, you'll see that video of him and Donald Trump. Go over listen to that. That was the last time he was actually seen on camera. I reckon, well, dad reckons, he's actually locked up in a Chinese prison because he's ripped off a whole lot of Chinese people. Right, now let's get started about Stephen Reese Lewis. Now, my dad always says it like this, Stephen Reese Lewis, um, he doesn't exist. He's nowhere on LinkedIn. Uh, and we've not been able to, I've searched for him with dad looking over his shoulder and I'm saying, where's this guy, dad? And he said, he doesn't exist. He's not even a real person. He's a paid actor. But if you go to his Twitter uh, page, you can see that customers are complaining about being unable to withdraw funds from Hyperverse and he's never ever been seen in public. Now I hope dad doesn't mind but he said I could offer you guys $100 New Zealand if you can give me the location or the whereabouts of the real Stephen Reese Lewis. I would love to interview him and Stephen if you want to come on my, I'm not rich like these other VIP people, I'll give you 100 bucks if you come on my YouTube channel and introduce yourself. Come on, time to come clean. It'd be lovely to meet the real Stephen Reese Lewis, even though we know he's a paid actor. Right, so now let's talk about the tokens that every one of these four Ponzi schemes have started up. You've got HCash, MOF, HDO, oh, sorry, I better get that right, HDAO, um, HVT, and GNX. Uh, every single one of those have been pumped and dumped, and they are worth zero dot zero zero one percent of a coin now would you like to invest in a company that keeps creating uh coins and tokens and they just die well invest in hypernation if you're a fool that's what i'm saying um so they all got worthless coins and they just um they all plummet soon after launching and they promise you that their coin is going to be the new stable thing running parallel with usdt but no what they're trying to do is tell you that we like USDT, and if you're going to buy any membership plan that we have on offer, would you please use USDT because that's a stable coin for crypto. Don't invest in it, I tell you. Right, so now what have we got? Blockchain Global has $50 million uh, Australian missing, and the investors are pissed off, and they've got liquidators trying to find Sam Lee. Now, if you're one of those liquidators trying to find Sam Lee, good luck and let us know when you find him because everyone wants to know where he is. Now, we've got another thing that's collapsed and it's ASX.com. 
I O that collapse. So boom, that's gone. Boom, 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 boom. That makes me. <laughs> oh, that's not very much fun. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Um, I look like M Mr. H. And what happened to Miss H? She disappeared, eh? She just disappeared. And it was a bear's market too when she disappeared. All right, back to uh, moving along. All right, Pixel, here we go. Where are we? Oh, Mars Mall. Now, that was a funny one. Mars Mall lasted for less than a year, and they had shit products, and people, they, it was like meant to going to be like an Amazon. It was just another stupid thing they were going to do, and that went offline after 12 months. Um, all the websites that you see aren't even fully populated, and all the designs are really um, easy to find templates that are easily found on the internet. So if you look at their website development, um, you know, go to big companies like Amazon, Microsoft, and Apple. I mean, they have custom-built websites, but these guys are just using, like, WordPress. I think there was a one of them out there was using a, a Wix platform for their website and WordPress. So that, that's pretty shocking in itself. And all those websites, this is in the summary, don't actually have phone numbers. You can't contact them. There's no office location, and they're not even registered companies. Um, and the only thing I can register them back to is Digital X, um, which they've all resigned as um, people from. And the funniest one of all is Bitcoin Rodney. He, um, this is, he's given away 45 million HU. And the honest fact of it all, you can't give it away. <laughs> you can't cash it in. So it's worth absolutely nothing. So there you go. Now, this is pretty tall claims. I'm just a dog. And theoretically, if you could see my tail, it's wagging like a trooper because I've had quite fun doing this. My dad's been away. But if you don't take my waggy tail um, belief for it, then go and see the video ev evidence. So go into my the title just below this video and you'll see all the links to all the stuff we're talking about. And not only that, there's 10 videos on Project Frugal's uh, YouTube account. So go along there, watch them, hit the thumbs up. Let's get these videos out to the masses. We don't want people to be scammed by these losers we want to do something about it and we need your help so make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video share it on as many facebook pages as you can make my dad happy and prove to my dad that i'm better at youtube than he is because we don't want people to get scammed and we don't want people to lose their money through ponzi scams i'm danny de hex dog pixel and i thank you for watching my video and i look forward to seeing you in another video when dad lets me uh, in, in, in the not too distant future. Have a great day. How do you turn this thing off? Where is it? Where do you turn it off? Oh, I can't find a button. Turn it off. What's that one? Is that one? No, oh, not that button. Oh, I can't find that button. Oh, what's that? Oh, I like that. Look at that. Spaceship. Ooh, 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 ooh. Spaceship. Spaceship. That's all right. Hey, look, I'm a YouTuber. Ooh, do, hop, pop, pop, pop. Oh, I want to go to space. Oh, look. There's a guy putting a mask on. I wonder what he does. He must be one of those spacemen. Wonder if he's bought his ticket to the hypernation. Oh wow, let's go. I'm gonna look for a spaceship. There's one! Look at that. He's waving at me. Ah, this this is all getting a bit fishy now. Fishy now. I'm having fun. My dad's gonna come home soon. Oh, I think I can hear him. I think I can hear him. But remember, don't get invested in Ponzi schemes. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. As my my dear little mother said. Do not invest in Ponzi schemes. It's not a good thing to do with your money because it sounds too good to be true. You'll lose it all. Oh, go away, Mum. Okay, I think I figured it out. All right, bye. Remember, hit the thumbs up, share these videos. Bye. Hey.